Hey there, folks. Got a historic brawl deck for you. I do this once in a while. Shadow Heart, Sharon Cleric. So, long story short on this deck is you would describe it as death by a thousand cuts. Shadow Heart, at the beginning of your end step, deals one damage to each player. Has a specialize uh, when a player is at 13 or less life. Black half gives it life link in 4 4. And the red half that we're using, because you choose one color with this, is when you lose life during your turn, it deals that much damage to the opponent. So anything that we lose life on, not even damage, just pay life, lose life, anything like that, it gets reflected onto the opponent. So that's our goal is to get everything dropped down, everyone's low, and then we just burn them out the rest of the way. So I'm not gonna describe in this deck tech everything that's here. I'm gonna simply say the import list is down in the description if you want a full look. And when it comes to Commander, you're generally just going with a general theme, unless you're doing a specific combo. So our theme is Death by a Thousand Cuts. I'll point out some of the more notable examples real quick so you get an idea. So we got the Meat Hook Massacre here, obviously front and center. That's one thing that's going to do some damage. We got Shieldred. Chandra's nice damage over time. Leyline Combustion for more interactive decks. Play Gary for a big old drain. And even Torgar to just snipe half their life. And with many decks, the prize is obviously Bolas' Siddle, but it's more so in our deck as we pay life on the red half and we just dome our opponent for every spell we get. Anyways, that's the gist of the deck. Hope you guys enjoy. Feel free to subscribe for unique decks all the time. And I'll have some comments at the end. All right, we're on the play, which is the strangest thing on Earth, but all right. We've got Ramp, and we've got Interaction, and we've got Obnixilis, and Obnixilis is not the hottest here, but hey, whatever. They're super mulling. Maybe Obnixilis is great. All right. Blood Grip to start. So Trollsara, Life Gain. Soul Warden on one would be obnoxious. Curse of Silence. That's kind of dirty, yo. It's all right. We'll get around it. I mean, we are literally going to ramp, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, try to spell that one, buddy. We're not going to go that route then. What, are they asking teacher how to spell right now? Come on! Oh my god! The rope started! <laughs> the rope started! Because they couldn't name my commander. Earth Emeritus, yes. That's some land. You got it. Oh! Yes! Suck on that, Trebek! <laughs> All right, what do you got, opponent? How are you getting out of this one? Cultivate, we're gonna get some lands. That's how we're getting out of this. So, uh, the, yeah, the Birth Meltis hit them with this. Well, it's probably a midlife crisis on this one, and then the Afterbirth is going to actually hurt them. All uh, right, I believe we are just playing Shadowheart now. You can sack that if you want, I don't care. Take your pick. Oh my god, are they going to take twice as long? To Thank you. Alright. So they may be trying to find a way out of this for all I know. That's fine. Let's crack in for three. Alright, they're 21. 20. No life. They simply do not gain life. Cholosara shows up. It's a bear. It deals damage to them. Luminarch Aspirant. Don't let combat start. That's a lot of damage. Anyways, uh, we're going to kill Luminarch Aspirant right now. Okay, so 
And if creature you control dies, I mean we can, and we probably should. All right, stuff. Maybe should. Hold on. If we have Nixless and Sack Shadowheart, we have a Guardian Idol backup, right? So that's fine. All right. I'm going to hold on Meathook Massacre for now. All right, so. I don't gain life, period. So we just tick up, tick up. And they start attacking up Nixilis frantically. Oh, that was a good one to hit. All right. And no attacks. Ding, ding. So I don't have much in the way of attackers. Jade Light Ranger shows up, hits them for one. All things considered, they have had like one source of life gain anyway. <laughs> it's actually, I think theoretically hurt me more than them. <laughs> All right. So they start taking damage real soon here. In fact, if we can get them under 13. So this has lifelink if we turn it into the black version. So we'll do that. They're keeping the land in hand? Now, there's certain things I just don't understand here. And one of them is my opponent. We're going to meet Hook for uh, zero. Actually. Yeah, it's zero. It's fine. Hey. And pass the turn. So we've got the Guardian Idol up. They can do whatever the hell they want. It's going to start hurting them. So, did they find the solution in their zero interaction deck? Do they have interaction? Did we even see any? Uh, Curse of Silence is a tempo. Giant Killer is removal, I suppose. AO shows up. That's fine by me. Take one. <laughs> Can't do a thing. We're going to crack Mind Stone. Fine Torment, even more fun. All right, up you go. I'm gonna sack that or discard that land. Thank you. All right, and take two more. And uh, Clawing Torment, AO for minus one, minus one, and just not doing anything for now <laughs> and being quite small. And pass the turn. You're three. You're two. <laughs> Feel the pressure, opponent. Feeling that pressure. We go to Alpha yet? Despite the terrible math. Ao can't kill. Uh, nope. Ao can't do that. Not not good enough. Okay. Oh, I'll get rid of you. Oh, I'll get rid of you. And... This should save this for something important. I'll take that card out of your hand. You can't sneak on me. You can't good game sell the wreckage me! Ha 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 ha! All right, we're on the draw versus gigantic shit. <sighs> Why do I keep drawing Horde Robber? Get that crap out of my face. Why do I draw a Horde Robber every single, we'll take the indestructible one, 
every single time that I'm on the draw. Like, it's a perfect card if I'm on the play. Yep. So we're just rampant. Lovely. Ah, no, no, no! Dragon Skull Summit! Oh, that's an artifact. Ah, I thought it had basic land types. Because I would have had treasure right now. Oh, uh, whatever. I have literally every tap land except Dragon Skull Summit. That's gross. Like, that's all of them in the deck. Every single one of them. Just all in one draw. Likeness of the Seeker shows up. Yep. Azusa. Yep. I'm not liking this already. Like, it's already looking like I want to just, like, be over there elsewhere right now. Well, let's get a Hood of Blight, Blight Fang out here. I mean, if you're going to do something, you might as well make a Death Touch. Really all I can do for the moment. Then there's whatever the fuck this thing is. Questing Beast shows up. Yep, that seems appropriate for my small, small deck. Or my small creatures. Um, that's a thing. All right. So we'll Sanguine Brushstroke. All right. So they don't actually have a means through other than the Questing Beast. Okay. Let's just get a Gigantic Gary for five minutes here. Varus, sure. Just a value creature, really. Sark and Scorn. That's probably just good to kill the Questing Beast now, but it's also this thing where Boring Plex is a problem as well. I'm going to go with more mana and... Uh, yeah, we'll just go with this. This is Triumph, sure. So now the Vorinclex is coming out next turn? Gross. Alright. And if a protection spell is tied with it, that's kind of disgusting. I'm gonna throw the Treacherous Blessing. We're under too much fire. We need active cards. That's definitely not active. Um, yeah, Onyx doesn't work with Questing Beast in play. Okay. That mm, didn't really help. All things considered right now, uh, we have everything to stymie the opponent from actually getting in. Vorinclex immediately dies upon combat, so they can't do that. Tender Shoot Dryad. Yeah, that's a thing. I mean, if they're going to beat around the bush, I'm just going to fuck up Questing Beast. Scry to the top. Not good. Alright. Fightful Prankster. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, Questing Beast piss off. All right, back to it. So now it's quite punishing for them to actually try. Orinclex, no, yeah, Orinclex, sure. Great treasure, sure. Orinclex is here. Does this thing do something? Yeah, it, it fucks up this. All right. So if this is half, then we don't even get to do anything. 
Well, I do get to tick up. That could have been worse. For now, this is acceptable except for if they throw a Vivian at me. Like, if their next draw is literally Vivian, I'm pretty fucked. Unless it's just, you know, some sort of finisher, random finisher, overrun. And any overrun effect is basically where I'm going with this. That's actually not bad. We're probably fine here. Still. Okay. We're at 13, for what it's worth. Two basic land. Why would you... It's got cycling, my dude. Just fucking ultimate. <laughs> sure, whatever. All right. So lands have indestructible for them. Now I gotta push through somehow. So when creatures die, additionally tender shoot dryad and all that stuff, we've got some ways, it's just I don't know how yet. Yep. That's a pile of land. Murderous Rider. It's probably good just to get rid of the Nissa now, isn't it? Okay. I need a red card. That's a red card. Alright. Scar to Braid. Murderous Rider. And it's gonna be Tender Shoot Dryad now. Just so things so those saplings just go away. This is possible, but not very good. Let's just finish them. And uh, let's just throw this on there as well. So the clock is real. And any attempt to come at me is going to hurt. That Vorinclex is not a big deal. They have 10 trillion mana. They already had 10 trillion mana. Like, the damage is done. Even though nobody likes Vorinclex, it's there. Now they, uh, yep. Uh, I think they're getting themselves killed. Damn, we're in Convergence. That's going to make another token and get you killed. This might be an all attack at some point where we just have to block because they're being stupid about playing here and just want to waste time. I mean, you can just concede. Yeah, you're going to waste time. <sighs> yeah. There's potential for an overrun here. We're just going to play around, you know, it not existing right now. All right. And whatever this thing is. This thing, this thing, this thing, and we'll do one of these numbers, and show me your overrun. You died. Sorry, but I have all these opponent. Uh, yeah. If we were on the play, this would be way more comfortable. But we'll take the ramp and we'll see where it goes. Curse of Shaken Faith will do well for, you know, kind of midway. Jaren. 
So yeah, just a cold steel on, I guess, red will do here. So where are we going with this? No real plan, just set up some stuff. That's where I'm at right now. So, Curse of Shaken Faith plus Shadow Heart. So, this will just uh, make sure that if they try to start removing things, then, you know, it's going to have to do damage. Shadow Heart can just get in that, uh, that little bit of damage we need right off the get-go. And then we'll see from there. Our opponent says go. I'm just going to... So, that's red. Uh, this can be off black red. And we'll curse you. And we'll play our commander. Alright, and here we are. And my commander is so low profile that basically, unless your deck is all removal, which is a miserable matchup no matter how you slice it, they're just going to advance the board state. Like so. In which case, I can, can I Jaren? Jaren will draw a card. All right, we'll, we'll go with Jaren draws a card. Or it doesn't draw a card, either way. World Shaper, I think we just crack in because it's zero value right now. They probably want that value a little bit here. Yeah, okay, we got our two damages. Obnixilis is probably coming real soon. I'm thinking of sacking the Jaren for it. That was kind of the idea. Although Henrika can sacrifice the World Shaper, they get one land out of the process if that happens. So that's pretty good. And uh, no blocks for that. Not valuable enough. From here, the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice a creature. Okay. I really don't care. What I need is land. Do I just press? I press. Uh, draw. Okay. That's better. Now we can probably get rid of Jaren, it's totally fine. Dramatic Lantern. Uh huh. Although keeping it on our character, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter. Goth Crystal, puts a card in the yard, sure. But I think we're at the point where we can uh, probably, uh, let's see. Nothing. Yeah, Sack Jaren. Alright, still never killing that. Let's go Hooded Blightfang for extra damage here combat transform they're both that touch now and then we can discard molten impact to have our flip and do extra damage holy moly so Murderous Rider, with Shadow Heart in play, will certainly uh, work. It looks like they're looking at attacking Curse of Shaken Faith, maybe? I don't know what they're doing here. Straight Board Wipe is probably the only thing they should be doing. What's this thing do? 
Turn all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. I'll gain one life. Or I'll, I'll, I'll just death touch it. It doesn't matter. So they all come into play tapped. No big deal. I just want that thing out of the way. Nothing to worry about life total. I have a feeling a board wipe is coming regardless, so I'm just going to block the damage. Strong inkling here. You don't want to do that, opponent. You really don't want to do that. <laughs> I had that card in this deck temporarily. Yeah. Okay, Obnix list. Uh, we're we're going to finish the game here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so while this is a fun small cuts deck as I as it is a burn deck if you will. It still has its flaws, so I mean, if it's a deck you want to pick up, make it your own. Find the cards that work for you. I will note that one thing. Remember this alchemy card that got released? Everyone's like, why? I think this might be the one deck that gets away with it. 6-6 six, six for 4, and you have stuff that makes you pay life to Shadow Heart? Conditionally, that's not a terrible card. We could probably clock someone pretty fast. So go ahead, let me know in the comments what you think of the deck, and if you picked it up. It's certainly a fun commander, and it's playing by low life total margins. And it's certainly fun having those life gain commanders that you just machine gun down, and they just can't keep up. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Take care, and bye-bye.